the senior vice president of the Center for Security Policy, and he joins us now. That's the problem, Fred, non-assimilation? I think that's the issue. There are large numbers of British Muslims who are not just separated from British society. British Muslim leaders are encouraging them to stay separate, and the British government has been complicit in this. It is actually going along with a parallel system of government that, that these are Sharia law courts, but even worse, it's in the education system. One of the best things that Prime Minister May said this week is that she's going to try to integrate majority Muslim schools, and she did this because of a recent report on the British education system. This is from the London Express. It, and this report found evidence of a coordinated and deliberate and sustained attempt to introduce an intolerant and aggressive Islamic ethos into the British school system. This is the problem here. If they cannot confront this separatist, they're never going to beat radical Islam. Uh, the mayor of London is Sadiq Khan. He wants to cancel President Trump's state visit to Britain. This after the president tweeted criticism of Khan's reaction to the London attack. Now, that state visit is not going to be cancelled, but it does show you that there's a spat here between the president of the United States and a municipal official in a foreign country, namely the mayor of London. I don't think it should have come to that. Look, Khan has never liked President Trump. He's been denouncing Trump ever since the day he was inaugurated. But remember, Khan said yesterday, we cannot let Donald Trump divide British communities. Stuart, they're already divided. The, the, the Muslim and British communities are already divided. And here we have a mayor who simply will not acknowledge this fact or the nature of this threat. Uh, one more for you, and that's Qatar. There's a new report. It says Qatar paid a billion dollars in ransom to Iranian and Al-Qaeda-linked forces in Syria to free members of the royal family who'd been taken hostage while hunting. That could be another reason why other Gulf states cut their ties. Comment, please. I, I think it probably is. Qatar has been playing uh, both sides of the street. Uh, they have been far too close to Iran. They've been funding Hamas uh, uh, and uh, uh, ISIS. I, I think this was a long time in coming. Thank you very much indeed, Fred Flights. I'm sorry to run along here, here. but we've got a lot of big news, uh, you know how it is.